Now, shadow boxing. Stay light on the balls of your feet, but throw those punches. You can just keep a simple jab cross. You can do some crazy roundhouses. Keep that body moving. All right, back to those high knees. Get those knees up. Shadow boxing. Shadow box. Woo. Remember, these kind of moves are all about how fast, how intense you want to go. So you can keep it nice and slow and steady, just don't stop, or you can go all out to get the heart going. All right, we got jumping jacks. Jumping jacks. Nice and. Squat, one jump squat. Then a prisoner squat with the other leg, and then a jump squat. We hit legs every day here. All the legs. We like to hit them early and hard because they're the largest muscle group in the body. So by hitting them early, Alright, hold that squat a little longer. When I say go, we're going to squats with front kick. Ready? And go. Squat, Bow. front kick. Squat, front kick. So you're squatting nice and low. You're doing a nice... Push past that burn, past that shake. Those are your muscles being torn down. We can build them up even stronger. It's just kind of burning. All right, go ahead and shake off fast feet. Fast feet, guys. Shake out those legs. You're going to need to shake out that lactic acid that we've yeah. already built up in it. Woo! Because we're going to go right back through this squat heavy routine. Here we go. All right, everyone, give me a squat hold. Squat hold. Hands behind your head. Prisoner squat. Jump squat. Prisoner squat. 
jump squat. One prisoner squat and one jump squat, back to back. Make sure you do that prisoner squat. Your knee's coming up, not your elbow going down. Your goal is to use that oblique muscle to get that knee as high as you can, keeping those elbows up nice and high. And of course, we do that jump squat. Make sure you always land back in a low squat before you launch up again. All right, hold that low squat. Low squat. We're just gonna hold it again. Woo! I'm breathing hard, so this is a chance you to catch your breath. Squat, front kick. Remember, all front kicks are very quick, snappy kicks. So bring that knee up, snap the foot out from the knee, bring it right back down. Nice, quick, snappy Ooh. front kicks. yourself, straighten them out as much as possible. And then from there, like Joshua, you're going to lean back almost to a hollow hold. Alright, we're all going to lay it back now, because okay. we're going to go into some reverse crunches. You're bringing your knees to your chest, and your chest to the knees, yeah. at the exact same time. Now Joshua and I have our hands off the ground, if you need a lunch of support, put your hands on the mat behind you. and then pushing that chest back up. All right, three seconds, we're on a hollow hold. Three, two, one, hollow hold. You can either have your hands on your hips like me for extra support for that lower back, or your hands behind your head for Joshua, if you want that. Breathe in the air, and then reach for your toes, because we're doing toe touches. Reach for the sky. So your legs should be as straight up as possible. You want to try and reach all the way to those toes. All the toes. This is really engaging those upper abdominal muscles as you reach up and lower back. Breathe out as you lift up, breathe in as you lower down. That will train your waistline to tighten, control again smaller, really making those abs pop. Woo! All right, in three seconds, you're in a high plank. Three, two, one, high, high plank. Because now we got some Spider-Man knees. So you're holding a nice flat plank here. You're driving that knee all the way to the outside of your body, trying to get it to that, up, that elbow on the outside. Keeping those hips low, 